So we're one year on with this one. A few little niggles, but nothing too much to worry about. The main purpose of this is here. Now it will come shot, but not anymore. The input jack. It be a bit loose. And there's no real way of um, doing this up without the possibility of missing the inside. So, this is not a simple whack off the um, scratch plate. This is going to be a bit more advanced. So, first thing, loosen off the strings. This has been a, a very nice guitar to, to play. As yet I haven't had a problem apart from the, uh, the jack. So let's hope it continues that way. The neck has remained nice and straight and the relief and the string heights are remarkably stable as are the machine heads which on something that is how much should I pay for it? 250 or something like that it is quite remarkable really should be enough <coughs> I've been asked in the past why don't I use a powered screwdriver. Well, it might be quite so bad on a um, cheap bit. Well, this is cheap, but to put a scratch if you slip on here is not great. So one way of getting around that is to put tape. That's too much like hard work. Seem to uh, slightly. Uh, mangled the bridge but hey we'll come to that if the intonation is done right, maybe just mark that off where it is and this is the point I won't be able to find my nice big thick marker always away yes I am correcting that assumption so we'll have to be back in a sec big marker what I'll do is put a slight line here and here corresponding to where the actual bridge is so at least we'll get some indication of where we were Now, loosen up the strings a bit more. As normal, making mistakes so you don't have to. And hopefully everybody is doing at least not too bad. I can say here at the moment it's bloody hot without having air conditioning things are not as great as they could be so we'll be able to uh, move that around slightly so when we're done yeah I do want your actual comments well that would be nice to actually uh, Actually, hear how we are doing them rather than just me asking. You know, it's not uh, quite as important as doing these screws up, not next to each other, because you can get too much pressure here that can bugger up the. Uh, 
good the stability I suppose would be a good enough word and then doing but opposites when you're doing things up like here there uh, where you get the general plan I'm just mucking about doing some things on today Sunday and I've played a new open mic smoke jam at the Baron of Beef in Cambridge you can look that place up it's not too bad a pub but it's their beers are a little bit limited because it's green king still having a nice time and there was a landlady of some pub in Cotton wanted to book us as a band and we come and said hold on we're just jamming and I said, ah, that's, that's all right. Well, that's fine. My lot won't worry about that. You seem pretty good to me. So hopefully we've got one, or more than one, coming up in a few months. But that does mean we'll have to practice. Which, well, rather than the case of, do you know such and such? You hit this the same way. I'm gonna say, uh, yeah. Hmm, no spider in here. No, but anyway, it looks clean enough. But it's gonna be a bugger to get to that junk plug. Which was, see you in one sec. So there we go. I don't think I've got much of a um, chance rather than as a pair of pliers. I'll try to hold that in um, situ where I screw the outside. Well, I'll rephrase that, tighten the outside. Hmm. Let's give it a, whoop. yes, things going to be a little bit of a bugger. So I managed to get some pliers to hold the chapter in place and just tighten this up slightly and don't overdo it and strip the threads. That seems all good enough for now. I suppose you could do a bit of a clean up. But then, then it looks kind of worn in, doesn't it? And loved. If you love it too much, it'll kind of slip off your lap when you apply it. If you and get some marks on your trousers. But looking out here, everything seems to be solid enough. Let's have another look inside. Oh dear God. Yeah, it's solid enough here. Look, see any bottom? Everything seems to be said solid enough. I don't know what this stuff around here is. I think we'll leave it. Well, time to put the uh, cone back in. Quite thin. There's nothing around here to suggest any distortion. Doesn't mean it's buggered around with. Now the uh,
Hmm. This is, of course, where it all goes wrong. Don't forget, I make the mistake so you don't have to. Seems about right. And as I was saying before about putting these screws in one at a time and don't do them up very tight at all. And then we go to the other side. Come on, you little bugger. And we've have got some room to uh, manoeuvre if necessary. Get that one out just a tad tight. Correctly or not. Oh, don't seem to be lining up. I'll loosen these off, see if we can get some movement. Ah, we're seated properly now. We've seen my previous videos. Uh, I was building a shed of knowledge. But then all of a sudden, the council said I couldn't have it. So it's back to doing things in the kitchen. I took only 300 quid. And uh, to put the new flats in, which is one part of the problem, which used to be my garden. And which is a different address where my uh, shed was. But no, the council insists I had to take the shed down and put a bin storage area, which was not on the original plans that were uh, approved by said body. And then, of course, they conveniently lose some paperwork. Oh, we can't find it. You've got to sell it, um, send it in again. Well, not too bad, you've got to just print it off. But no, you have to pay to pull it in. And all the council's faults, they just want to screw you for another couple of thousand quid. They lost it, and I have to pay. Well, the family has to pay. So we lined up in there, okay. So just take these down and tighten them up. Why aren't you going there? These are loose enough to uh, give us some wiggle room. Now, uh, just slightly cross threaded there. Uh, it's one thing you have to be careful. Ah, uh, got it now. They're not too tight. Leave that till later on. kind of hand tight, don't force anything too much. Stripping threads, not great. Especially on something like this, it's not easy to drill out. 
So we'll just go round, tighten slightly each time. Right, I think we're set. Now, I'll have a look at a few other bits and pieces.